Welcome to what I'm calling the ultimate vegan meal prep because my life just got ultimate and so did my meal prepping. <laughs> I just had my first baby a couple months ago and it is hitting me. Holy cow, I do not have the same time for myself that I used to. But just because my entire life is flipped upside down doesn't mean I'm going to give up eating whole plant foods all day long. I never give up, never surrender. Now if I want a salad, I better prep it ahead of time and then eat it as soon as my son goes down for a nap because babies have an uncanny tendency of needing you right when you sit down to a meal. Today we have seven different categories for food prepping that should inspire you to keep eating healthy vegan meals even if you too find yourself with too little time. We have the pre-breakfast, the hangry snacks, the toss, the dressing, the everything sauce, the cookie lunch, and the oh no dinners because oh no, witching hour is a real damn thing. Let's get to it. For our pre-breakfast today, we are prepping some fresh squeezed orange juice. These oranges from the farmer's market are so good and there's nothing like having a big glass of fresh orange juice right first thing in the morning. I've been having this right when I'm pumping because I am pumping breast milk in the morning and then I drink my orange juice. It's so good. For our hangry snacks, we're having oat balls. Oat balls are something I almost always have in the fridge. For the base of my oat balls, I always have oats, dates, and coconut flakes. And then to that, I add lots of seeds like hemp seeds or flax seeds. I normally add some sort of nut butter. Today I have peanut butter and maybe a nut like pecans or walnuts. You can add cinnamon, maple syrup, chocolate chips, anything you want to it. And then you're just gonna food process that until it's blended just so, and then create these balls. And it's so nice to have these on hand. Grab on the go when you're jumping in the car or when you are just super hangry and you don't have time to make anything. In the hangry snacks category, we are also having chopped veggies. Today, we're just gonna put some celery and carrots in a mason jar with a little bit of water at the bottom. This is really nice to dip in hummus or leftover dressing or anything else just to get some food in you and some fresh vegetables when you don't have time to prepare anything. Lately, I've been loving to prepare a big chopped salad and just having that in the fridge so I can throw something together super, super fast. One of the worst parts of preparing a salad is washing and chopping and drying the lettuce. And so that is what we're doing today. Just getting a big bowl. I got this bowl from Target. It's really nice because it has a airtight lid on top. These are some really nice greens I got from the farmer's market along with some purple cabbage and that can be the base of your salad. And then you can use the prepped dressing that we're going to prep right now. This is a tahini lemon dressing. I use this typically as a base and then you can add lots of stuff to it. It depends on the brand or type of tahini that you're using, but then you wanna add a little bit of water at a time and then just stir this with a fork or a whisk to get the right consistency. I'm adding lots of lemon juice to mine as well as a little bit of maple syrup for a sweetener. You can also use agave nectar. You can also add garlic powder or can add fresh dill or other fresh herbs. There's a lot that you can do with this base dressing. I also really like to add Dijon mustard to mine sometimes. Next, we have the everything sauce, and this is just a cashew-based sauce to which you may add all sorts of flavors. I like to eat it more as a sour cream or a yogurt, and I add it to pretty much everything, especially tacos, burritos, burrito bowls, things like that. And I really like to add it to leftovers of all kinds, just to bring it up a notch in terms of flavor and creaminess. You're going to need a high-speed blender for this. I use a Vitamix. You can soak your cashews if you want, but I don't think it's really necessary, especially when you're using a good blender like the Vitamix. I just do cashews and water and lemon juice or apple cider vinegar, some sort of acid and some salt. You can also add dill or garlic. You know, there's lots of other things you can add to create a uh, any kind of sauce that you're interested in. Having the cashew sauce on hand brings every meal to the next level and makes it so easy to make a boring meal fabulous.
Now for our quickie lunch, we are going to do a recipe from my ebook. This is the barbecue tempeh wrap with cilantro cream sauce. Holy moly, this is so good. This is such a wonderful meal to prep and have on hand for a couple lunches throughout the week. You're going to make your barbecue tempeh, make your cilantro cream sauce, chop up your veggies, and voila, you have such an easy lunch. The cilantro cream sauce is so delicious. I really worked on it to make it one of those sauces that's like, wow, this is so good. And that combined with the barbecue sauce makes it delicious. If you didn't know, I wrote an ebook with my mom last year at the end of my pregnancy and it was so much work and so much fun and I just ate so much food. My mom is now fully plant-based with me. It's kind of like a whole family thing now and she's really good at cooking. When my sister and I were growing up, my mom was a caterer and she cooked all these delicious meals and my friends always liked to come to our house to hang out because we always had awesome some snacks on hand and my mom made great food. So I thought it was sort of a no-brainer to compile some of our favorite recipes and make an ebook with my mom. And we also created some brand new recipes like this barbecue tempeh wrap. Definitely check it out. The link is in the description box below. There are so many recipes. How many do I have? I think over 40 really good solid recipes. And there's no like smoothie recipes. There's only like one salad recipe. It's all hearty stuff, good recipes, good meals. And by the way, the ebook is called Everybody Loves Food Because Ain't That The Truth. Let's move on to the category of the oh no dinners because haven't you been in those days when you just need a dinner made for you and you don't know what you're gonna make? I love to have a batch of beans always, always in the fridge. It's so nice to throw in some taco shells for lunch on some rice for dinner, put some avocado and salsa on top and boom, there you go. Make it even better with the cashew sauce. I love the Instant Pot for beans. I really held out buying an Instant Pot for a long time. I love to make beans from scratch, dried beans, not from the can, because you save a ton of money, they taste better, and you're not using all this excessive packaging. For these black beans, they turned out amazing. You're going to start with garlic, onion, and jalapeno. Saute those on the saute function of the Instant Pot with some water, and then throw in some seasoning like cumin, oregano, chili powder or chipotle powder, garlic powder, and your rinsed beans. I do not soak my beans. I know, so controversial. Some people say you need to. I do not believe that you do, because I never do, and they always taste great. One key step that I think is not often talked about is the importance of salting your beans after they are done cooking. If you salt your beans before and try to cook the beans with the salt, it may turn your beans a little tough and not as tender. The general ratio for beans is pretty simple. You don't need to get all complicated. Just do two cups dried beans per six cups water. That is generally what works for me at least. And you will pressure cook these beans at 50 minutes on high pressure and voila, you have a big thing of beans. But here is how we're gonna make it even better. Drain as much liquid as you can and then mash them halfway with potato masher and then salt them and wow, so good. Especially black beans, there's something about black beans mash that come out real, real creamy. The next Oh No dinner we are prepping is another recipe from my ebook. This one is so delicious. I think polenta is one of those meals or one of those dishes that a lot of vegans forget is so good and so cheap and easy. This is the cheesy polenta with red bisque. This is such a fantastic meal to meal prep because not only is it so yummy, you just make your polenta in these muffin tins and store them so easily and the red bisque also stores very simply and you can throw together a meal like that. And that is it for all of our meals that we are prepping today. I hope that inspires you. Again, check out my ebook for lots of new ideas. Um, sometimes it can get real boring with the foods that we eat all the time, and sometimes it's fun to mix it up. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.